Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Stranger Things 3, episode 1. This one's called Susie, Do You Copy? Uh, this is a show that I mentioned in a few videos that I would be reacting to when it came out. And it came out on the 4th, and it is the 10th, so I'm I'm late. Um, there's just been a lot of drama in my life, and it's not been a good time. I haven't been, record, I haven't been able to record anything in a week, and I hate that, but... School is going to be starting on the 14th of August, so a little little over a month. Um, my old schedule should come back and maybe even be better. I have no idea yet. We'll have to wait and see when um, school starts back up and how things go. But my old schedule definitely should be back um, at least that following week because you got to give me, you know, the few days to actually get some stuff done um, to edit. So... Uh, yeah, so anyway, I have some time now, so I'm going to go ahead and watch episode one at least. Um, now, I just want to say that season one of Stranger Things, I did not watch when it first came out. It was, uh, I don't know how old it was, actually. I think it was before season two came out. Or maybe season two was out. I don't know. I just know that I didn't watch it right away because... It didn't really seem like something that I wanted to watch. Uh, I didn't really know anything about it. I don't know. I just thought, I think I saw the cover or whatever, and I just thought it looked weird. <laughs> and I didn't really have any desire to see it. Um, but I just kept hearing about how awesome it was and how much everybody loved it and everything like that. So eventually, I broke down and decided to watch um, the first episode or whatever, and it immediately drew me in. I loved it. So I saw all of season one in one day. I binged the whole thing. And um, I think the same thing when season two came out, I binged it all in a day. Or maybe I did it in two days. I, I can't remember exactly. But um, yeah, so I absolutely loved season one. And I love season two even more. I know that that's not, I don't think that's a popular opinion because, you know, watched other people react to the seasons and some of them thought season one was better than season two. Some of them thought season two was better than season one. So, you know, everyone has different opinions. My opinion, I love season two better than season one, not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. And so I have sort of high hopes for this season, which it can be bad because, you know, if you hype up, you show too much in your mind and then you, you watch it and it's not the way you hoped it would be, then it kind of feels like a letdown, even if the show's still good. So, you know, I've been trying not to hype it up too much in my head, but, you know, I've just been so excited for season three to come out and now it's out and I'm just super excited. I'm also scared because every season they kill somebody off that I like and I have a feeling the season three is going to do the same thing. Um, but I hope I'm wrong. But... I don't know. We'll have to see what kind of characters are in this one. And I mean, I know we got main characters are back, but, I'm, you know, from the trailers and stuff, you know, I at least know there's one other girl that I think works with Steve. So that's a new character. And um, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to see if she's like a new love interest or something or, you know, see if she dies. I have no idea. Maybe she's Susie. Uh, but I have no idea. But uh, anyway, uh, I did get a warning before um, when I was setting all this up for this show that there is some strobe light effects and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're, I think it said if you're photosensitive or whatever, you know, to beware or whatever. So just I want to put that warning out there for anybody who's watching who may have that um, condition or have that problem, uh, you know that there is a warning on this, so just beware when watching. But uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Why do I feel like these are the Russians that were mentioned in season two? 
You know, there was like that conspiracy guy I was talk talking about the Russians. I don't know. These guys seem like that to me. Opening the upside down back up. Why would they do that? Oh, it closed. It's about to explode, isn't it, or something? Or did it just die? I have enough power. Oh, shit! It exploded! Gross! They're into... They're like goo now. Well, I was right about the Russian thing. But where the hell are they? They're in Russia. Right? Okay. How do they have their own way to get into the upside down? I mean, obviously it didn't work, but they almost did it. Ooh. Well, they're definitely not as shy with the kissing anymore. Is he okay? I don't think he likes the fact that Elle's in there with the uh, mic. <laughs> Skates versus they're sneaking into the theater and now they bring their own food. There, that happened to me once in the theater, right? It's like the most intense part of the movie. The freaking film went out. It was so annoying. I mean, the theater didn't go down, just the film did. It took like half an hour to get it back up. Oh, that's the uh, Mind Flayer, right? Season two? Huh? How, why did it just pop up out of nowhere? Uh-oh, can he sense it? I mean, they were connected for a while. Oh, goosebumps. on his face. Cheek. Gross. Huh. I don't think you're gonna think it's gross when you fall in love. I'm not gonna fall in love. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I had a feeling it was the Bob picture. I repeat, this is goddamn gold or what? Relax, for goodness sake. I'm in range, they should be answering. You've been away a whole month, honey bun. Maybe they just forgot. I saw this part too. Nah, I didn't react to it on camera, but I watched this little scene. Hey, Lordass! No running on my watch. I gotta warn you again, and you're banned for life. You wanna be banned for life, Lordass? Didn't think so. He's still an asshole. I mean, it's okay to yell at him for running because you shouldn't do that, but you don't have to call him a lard ass. Thank you. You know, it is that smug son of a bitch, Mike. He's corrupting her, I'm telling you. And I'm just going to oh lose it. I'm going to lose it, Joyce. Just take it down, Hopper. I need for them to break up. That is not your decision. They're spending entirely too much time together. You agree oh my with God. me, right? Well, I mean, they're just kissing, right? Yeah, but it is constant. They're not little kids anymore, Hop. They're teenagers. If you order them around like a cop, then they're going to rebel. It's just what they do. Well, so what? I'm just supposed to let them do whatever they want. No, I didn't say no, that. No, but talk chill. <laughs> no, because no, talking doesn't work. Not yelling, not ordering. Talk to them. It's really important that no matter how they respond, you stay calm. You cannot lose your temper. Maybe I can help you find the right words. What about Star Court? I, I was just thinking. I mean, I know everyone loves them all, but how many small businesses have closed since it opened? Like five on Main, at least. It's changing the fabric of our town in, in a way. The death of small town America. I like it. I like it a lot. But I think I've got something even spicier. It's about the missing mustard on my hamburger. <laughs> you think you can follow the clues and solve the case of the missing condiment, Nancy Drew? <laughs> Is that a new zit? What is wrong with you? I was just asking! <laughs> <laughs> This baby carries a crystal clear connection over vast distances. I'm talking North Pole to South. I can talk to my girlfriend whenever and wherever I choose. You got a girlfriend? girlfriend? I want to talk to Dustin's girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> we should kind of like, you know, I don't know, maybe hang out this weekend or so. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know, maybe next weekend or... Yeah, I'm busy. Oh, oh, that's cool. I'm actually, I'm working here next weekend, so the following weekend's better for me. <laughs> Steve. And another one bites the dust. You are O four seven five. Yeah, yeah, I can count. You know that means you suck. Yep, I can read too. Since when? It's this stupid hat. I am telling you, it is totally blowing my best feature. Yeah, company policy is a real drag. You know, it's a crazy idea. But have you considered telling the truth? Oh, you mean that I couldn't even get an attack and my douchebag dad's trying to teach me a lesson? I make three bucks an hour and I have no future? That truth? Hey, 12 o'clock. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, going in. Okay, I'll go. And you know what? Screw company policy. Oh, my God. You're a whole new man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see you there. Would you guys like to set sail on this ocean of flavor with Why me? Why are you yelling? I'm Steve Harrington. 
Four people? Four spoons? Shared in the booth? Anybody? Oh, poor Steve. You just kill Mike. I'm chief of police. I can cover it up. Got this. I promise. You want to have dinner tonight? You can give me some more pointers. Oh, I, um, um, I, I have plans. Okay, sure. Well, um, Georgie has his 13th birthday coming up. My dad's 13th. I know. She's got you. and all but uh i have to go home we're almost there sorry man curfew come on let's go good luck <laughs> curfew at four they're lying it's been like this all summer it's romantic it's gross it's bullshit i just got home You should say something. Oh, gross. Why is that happening? Come to think of it, there is a good pool out at uh, Motel 6 on Kwong Wong Street. It's very quiet. You know, very private. Mm. Don't be a hoe. Eight o'clock. I'm sorry. I can't. Can't what? Have fun? <laughs> Mrs. Wheeler. <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, I don't think I need any lessons. Oh, you see, I think you do. I just don't think that you found the right teacher. I, uh... It will be... You're married, as far as I know. Did you seriously just drink the rest of our water? Ew. Gross. So much for having plans. Why didn't she want to be with Hopper? Hey, cheers. Is she just not over Bob or what? Yeah. Oh, they're funny, don't you think? <laughs> yes. I just wish they'd get back together again already. Me too. Cheers is funny. Hawkins Post? Um, ho hold on. I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat that? It's important to establish these boundaries moving forward so that we can create an environment where we feel comfortable and trusted and open. <laughs> to share our feelings. Come on, Hopper, you got this. You can do it. Yeah, turn that off. Dude, don't joke. <laughs> He's gonna lose it. Stay calm. No. Stay calm. Stay calm. No, nobody's in trouble, okay? I just, um... Uh... Oh, <laughs> you being a jerk might quit it. You know what? Your mom called. What? Yeah. She needs you home. 
at your grandma. <laughs> She <laughs> it's not nice. Does she have cancer? No. Then I don't understand what's wrong with Nana. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Nana. What? But there's something very wrong with this thing between you and Elle. Mm. Are you lying, piece of shit? Hey. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. You disrespect me again. And you're going to listen. And then maybe, maybe by the end of it, maybe if you're lucky, maybe I will continue to allow you to date my daughter. God, if you understand. Okay. Mike did deserve that little last bit from Hopper because he was being a, a disrespectful little shit. Dustin, come on. She's not there. She's there, all right? She'll pick up. Maybe Cerebro doesn't work. Or maybe Susie doesn't exist. She exists. She's a genius and she's hotter than Phoebe Cates. No girl is that perfect. Is that so? Oh. <laughs> You just I mean, got yourself in trouble. You're perfect. Yeah, yeah, per I mean, like, per perfect in your own way. I mean, you're special. Your own special way. Relax. <laughs> it was amazing. I wouldn't say he's lying. Where are you going? Home. I don't think he would drag everybody out there for a girl that didn't exist. You and me, bye. Welcome home. Well, I mean, did Dustin really expect them all just to sit out there all night while he tried to contact a girl? That's Susie. 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 The Russians. Серебряный кот есть, когда синяя встретится с желтым на Западе. Поездка в Китай звучит неплохо, если быть осторожным. Неделя длинная. I guess she's going, isn't she? It'll be a hoe. Oh, my video is stuttering. My video is frozen. What's going on? It's almost over. Why do you have to freeze? Video stuck. Back it up a little. I don't know why it froze like that. It wasn't paused because I actually paused it and then unpaused it and it's still frozen in that one spot. I hope I can sync this video later. <laughs> Yeah, you're married. I know your husband's a bore, but come on. You're still married. Aww. Hey, Karen. No mind if I call you Karen, do you? Good. Well, I guess her decision to meet him or not is uh, going to be out of her control now because I think he's about to get possessed or something. At least from the trailers. I think that's what happens to him. And this is the warehouse or wherever all those rats were exploding. Well, if you had been paying attention to the road instead of flirting with yourself in the mirror, then maybe you would have seen whatever it was you hit. Ew. What the hell? Is this some kind of mutated rat? Who's there? I mean, I seriously doubt the rats were exploding for no reason. Hey! I said who's there! Oh, 
It was like Barb all over again. That was a... Oh, that was it? Oh, oh man. The video froze seriously right at the last little bit. Kiss my ass, computer. Oh, man. All right. So, um, that was the end of episode one. Uh, I enjoyed it. I love seeing everybody again. You know, they're so much older now. And, uh, yeah, so Elle and Mike are obviously not too shy to be kissing each other anymore because that's what they did for, like, half the time they were on the screen. Um... It seems to me that Joyce is not over Bob. And that's why she turned Hopper down when he asked her to dinner. Um, so that was sad. Because I know, like, everybody is shipping them two together. And uh, I am too. I mean, I liked her with Bob, but, you know, Bob's gone now. So I do ship her and Hopper together now. And... Um, it's still really sad. Like, it, when Bob died in season two, I bawled my eyes out. I really did. And I didn't really think I would because, you know, he wasn't, like, that big of a character. But I don't know. He was just so lovable to me and uh, dorky. And, yeah. So, it was just very sad to me when he died. And I was, like, I seriously bawled my eyes out. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And uh, Hopper... <laughs> needs to chill it a little bit with the Ellen Mike thing. Um, I think he was being overly dramatic about their relationship. Um, as a parent, I can get it because you don't want your kids. It's it's awkward for your kid to be making out with someone, and I haven't had to deal with that yet. But. I'm sure that day was going to come very soon. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Um, for one, uh, my kid will not be in the bedroom with a boy uh, with the door shut at all. <laughs> if they're in there, door's wide open. <laughs> or they're going to have to sit out where I can supervise. But, you know, I want them to have some privacy, but not that much privacy. Um, so I can get, as a parent, I can get it. You know, the feelings of not liking them growing up and doing things that, you know, we do as adults. And um, yeah, but I thought he was being a little over dramatic, And I thought that was really bad of him to tell Mike that his, something was wrong with his grandmother. And then I can understand when they're in the car, when Mike found out that Hopper lied, I can understand why Mike was upset, but he did not need to call him a piece of shit. And so when Hopper lost it a little bit and threatening and stuff, I thought Mike totally deserved that because he was being very disrespectful. And uh, yeah, so, but I hope that they can find some kind of compromise you know, the three of them. Uh, so we'll have to see, but you know, I think they're going to have bigger issues on their hands pretty soon. Um, more than the making out. <laughs> um, I do feel a little bad for Dustin cause he seems to me that he feels like he wasn't missed at all. Like they, they moved on sort of without him while he was gone. And, um, you know, I don't know. I think he feels like maybe they're just interested in, in him. And, you know, I can get, you know, being a little upset about Mike and Elle just taking off so they could go, you know, kiss for a while. But, you know, they're they're young in love. You know, that's what they want to do. But, you know, I can get being upset about that. But he seems so upset when everybody left, when it was dark outside. It's like, what do you expect them to do to sit there all night long while he tried to get a hold of a girl in, in another state um, that he may never get a hold of? I have no idea. But I don't think that she's fake. Because, like I said, I don't think he would have dragged them all out there for a fake girl. You know, that doesn't make sense. And plus, you know, when he started hearing the noise on the uh, the radio... 
you know, he, he asked if it was her and nobody else was around. So why fake it? You know? So I think she exists. It, she just, he just couldn't get a hold of her. Um, so, but anyway, so yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, you know, kids grow up, they kind of sometimes, you know, grow apart, you know, it happens. I've had many friends who I grew apart from and, you know, we're no longer friends or acquaintances of any kind. You know, I don't know what happened to them. They don't know what happened to me. You know, it's, it's part of life, you know, but I don't know. We'll see what, what's going to happen. Um, I really do think Will really needs to speak up about these feelings. I, even if he doesn't really know why he's feeling the way he is, like maybe he has no idea that it's the mind flare that's making him feel this way. Um, he just feels something. Um, but you know, two seasons have gone by. You would think they know not to keep secrets with, you know, eerie feelings that they may be having or experience experiencing. So, um, I don't know if he'll say anything. I don't know if he'll figure it out. Um, I really don't know why the rats were exploding. That was really gross. This is already first episode more graphic than the first two put together. And that includes seeing this the slug thing climb out of Barb's mouth and the and the upside down. So um there is uh the the Russian thing. I don't know what they're doing. I was under the impression in season two that the mind flare was inside Will. And that it was the big giant creature from the Upside Down. So when it left, and then we saw, when, when they finally got it out of Will, and it took off, and then we saw the creature back in the Upside Down, you know, when Elle was trying to close the gate, that that's where it went. I'm a little confused about that. So I hope that gets explained. Um, and I can understand, like, if it is the creature or whatever... And it's awakening now. I can understand that maybe because it has a connection to the upside down that it can feel the Russians trying to get in. And so I can understand that. But I just don't understand why it would come back it, like a year later. Um, why it's just been sitting out doing nothing. And I'm assuming it's going to go into to Billy. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, as far as Mike mom, Mike's mom goes, she's a big hoe, okay? She's been a hoe since, like, episode when Billy came to her house in season two. Um, being all flirty and stuff with the kid. He's, like, I don't know, 20 years her junior, maybe? I have no idea how old she is. I have no idea. Maybe 15, 20 years. I don't know. But anyway... It didn't even matter if he was just a year her junior. She's a married woman with children. And yeah, her husband is a big old boar. And um, so far has not proven to be useful in any way. <laughs> at least in season one or two. Uh, but that doesn't give her excuse to go have an affair with the younger man. It does not. If she does, she's not happy with her marriage. She needs to get a divorce. Simple as that in my eyes but you know it seems like you know it, it is not even an issue <laughs> right now because he's about to become some kind of evil creature so um i don't know we'll have to see i guess what happens but anyway i really enjoyed the episode i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on anything if you would like me to react to, please leave it down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.